Now that you've launched a campaign, you can come over to the Campaigns tab. Your campaigns are listed in order of end dates. You can filter and search your campaigns by clicking the Filter tab. The first thing you may notice is the different tabs. The Open tab is all your live campaigns. The Starred tab is an easy way for you to separate important campaigns for your team to look at. If you create a campaign and aren't ready to launch it yet, you can save it in your drafts for later. The Ended tab are all the campaigns that you've sold at least one product and ended successfully. You can archive ended campaigns so they're easy to find for the relaunch later. And the failed campaigns are the campaigns that ended with zero sales. On the campaign feed, you will have a quick look at your numbers. You'll see the number of orders, units purchased, visits, amount of profits, and how many days left in the campaign. By clicking the gear icon on the right, you have an option to create similar campaign, see the sales page URL, store the campaign for your team, or check out the details of the campaign. Once you click on the details, you'll be brought to the individual campaign dashboard. You'll get the same analytics as the main dashboard, but for this specific campaign. Click on the details tab. This is where you can change and edit any campaign descriptions, decide on relaunching a campaign when it ends, customize your sales page by turning on and off the goals or sales page timer, and you can also extend the campaign one time per relaunch for up to four days. Click the end early button to end the campaign. Choose the products tab and you can change the default product by style, color, and side to be displayed on the sales page. Scroll down and you can add and remove products, change the sales price, and add or remove colors. The most you can select is 20 style and color variations. The upsell tab is where you can manage multiple upsells by style, color, and side to be displayed as well as the discount amount offered. An upsell is displayed after the initial sale but before the thank you page. Head over to the customers tab and you'll get an option to see the individual order number, the date it was purchased, the email address, the location, and the total order amount. The flag section is for upsells and coupons. If someone uses a coupon you will see a tag and if someone purchases an upsell you will see a plus sign. In the sales tab you will get a breakdown of what is purchased. It is broken down by style, color, and size as well as base cost, sales price, and profits. Now let's go to the marketing tab. First you will see the URL builder. UTM variables are the best practices when tracking your ads. You can break your ads out by source, campaign, medium, term, and content. And the URL is automatically generated for you to use in your advertising. You can track your UTM variables in the dashboard analytics. You can set up your default tracking and retargeting pixels here for a number of different advertising platforms. You can choose which email list you would like your buyers to be sent to automatically by using this drop down menu. You can see and edit your metadata in this tab. You can also create a coupon for this specific campaign here. In your assets section, you can download any product or design files as needed. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot us an email at support at viralstyle.com.